Do you guys know what's awesome? Having a computer that's so full of dust that it's practically hairy. Actually, that's gross. Dust is made up of any number of super nasty things, including dead skin cells, insect droppings, tar from cigarette smoke, that one's really bad, and any other random junk that's just flying around in your house. And it's gonna gunk up your cooling, making it less effective and causing temperatures to rise over time. This applies to PCs, yes, but also to other electronics, such as game consoles. Your hardware then goes into a thermal throttling mode that this protects it from damage, but it can also dramatically reduce performance. And honestly, there's only so much it can do to protect itself. Eventually, the high temperatures will cause your stuff to fail faster than if you just took care of it properly in the first place. So what can I do about this, Linus? Well, there are many ways that you can clean out your junk, but some of them can do more harm than good. Blowing on things might remove dust, but it can also introduce moisture, which can cause electrical shorts, which are very, very bad. By contrast, canned air from your local PC store is safe for use on electronics and is great for clearing out dust. But use short bursts, guys, you know, tch -tch -tch, rather than just long blasts. And hold your fans in place while you're cleaning them, because if they spin up, they can actually damage the components that they're connected to. Another option is to use a vacuum cleaner, but only if you have one that can blow air out. Sucking dust up from your system causes static to build up at the tip that can zap your components, making them die. Speaking of dying, I'm dying to tell you guys about audible.com. All you gotta do is head over to audible.com slash techquickie and sign up to get a free audiobook. With over 100,000 audiobooks to choose from, you could spend every waking minute from now until you die listening to audiobooks. Not that I'd recommend that. Maybe what you wanna do is get a subscription that gives you a few per month, something like that. Maybe you can check out World War Z if you enjoyed the movie, or maybe you can check out, if you didn't enjoy the World War Z movie, you could check out World War Z because it has nothing to do with the movie. Um, so yeah, audible.com slash techwiki, check it out. Click the like button for this video, share this video, and as always guys, don't forget to subscribe.